Well, I was very conscious that I might be seen as an outsider. I'd had 37 years in uniform. I deliberately decided to take the uniform off before joining the organization. I arrived with no one from my old uh, days. Uh, in fact, I arrived alone, just other than the security uh, guards and security force. So I think that sent an important message to them. I asked to be you know, referred to as director or Dave rather than general. You actually don't walk across the seal when you uh, arrive every day as the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. You're actually in an underground parking lot, which has a special elevator which goes up to the, the floor in which the director's office is located. One of the early decisions that I made was that we were going to move the swearing-in ceremony for the new officers from this very, very large cavernous auditorium called The Bubble to an event uh, where we closed off that front entrance had the seal there, and more importantly, had the wall of stars. And they actually sat facing the wall of stars. Each star represents uh, an officer who has fallen uh, in service. And it's one of the very few days where their families were allowed into the agency. That was a big deal in my mind. I think there was a lot of symbolism, and that front hallway is extraordinary. As is the hallway where you walk past all the director's portraits and so on, there is a sense of history there. And indeed, there's a continual effort to increase uh, the recognition of that history by what you see as an officer walking through the, the corridors of that great organization.